What's up everyone? Well, it's the end of the year. Uh, it's mid-December here and uh, we are doing some inventory of our bales. Checking to see how many we have, what the condition of our bales are, just kind of see how they're doing. So we, we have a lot of different uh, types of hay this year. Uh, we have prairie hay, uh, straw, we have alfalfa, we have a separate section that's more grassy alfalfa. These here are actually wheat hay put up at boot stage. Uh, we have sorghum sedan hay and millet hay. Some of that has a, has a uh, cover crop mixed in, so it's a little higher protein. So we try to keep all those bales in separate storage areas, or at least kind of mark them or write them on a piece of paper where they are. Well, we're gonna go through in this December, we always take inventory so we know uh, what type of mix we're going to grind, whether we're gonna grind one third alfalfa, one third straw, or um, we adjust those mixes depending on how much of each type of hay we have left. We utilize each type of hay a little bit differently, but we're gonna take a closer look at some of these bales today and just see how they're looking. This bale was put up in the spring. It is a really cheaty wheat hay. And you can see here, it's standing pretty nice. It's a little bit of a flat bottom, but that's just, that's just gonna happen as it kind of settles. And uh, the protection on the outer layer, you can't really see any, you can't really see any damage on this bale um, from the elements because the net wrap is doing its job. It's protecting it. And when the water hits, it shields it or it sheds it off. So a lot of people store, especially in the east, will store their bales inside or wrap them up with plastic. There's a lot of different ways to save on, uh, on loss. Um, but here in Kansas, it's a pretty dry climate. Almost all years, I would say, it's more economical to store outside. We have one shed that we put some hay in this year and people who are selling like premium alfalfa will store hay in sheds, but ours do fine. Uh, here, you just put them in a ridge, not in a waterway and they will look great by the time you get them fed up, usually in about six to 15 months is when our hay will get fed up after it's been uh, baled. All right, so this is some of our alfalfa hay. Uh, this is an alfalfa hay bale. It's actually from 2019. So we are just getting to these bales uh, over a year later. Uh, we typically try to use up all of our hay in, in 12 months, but sometimes it, it goes you know, past the year mark and that's fine. Uh, you can see the year and a half year old bales, they look a little more uh, weathered here, but uh, if you dig into them a little bit, still pretty good quality on the inside there. Didn't get a very good, still pretty good quality yeah. on the inside. And that's gonna smell really good yeah. for them too. Still smells like really nice alfalfa. So this bale was baled a little too wet. Um, and we know that because in 2019, we baled almost all of our bales too wet. It was an extremely wet year. Uh, so it was 2018. 2020 uh, has been a lot uh, drier, and so we actually have a lot better hay quality this year. But you can see that uh, despite it being baled a little wet, um, the net wrap uh, from Tama has, has covered it really well, uh, preserved it really well. It's around the edge here, um, and the water runs off of the bale. That's what we want to see. So it's doing good. All right, Kendall's counting these bales here. Okay, so we got 56. Uh, millet bales and then the edge of the stack is about 12 straw and so we'll record that and uh, so these are this is uh, this year's hay basically want to use the least amount of wraps possible while still getting a nice tight uh, good shape bale and so with Tama uh, we get to use less wraps uh, than with a cheaper net wrap or with a off-brand net wrap and it still holds that bale in really nice. And that also means that you change out the net wrap less times in the field, which for anyone who's been baling and you're on a rhythm and you've bailed you know, a lot of bales, for you to have to stop, get out of the tractor, go back and change the net wrap, it really, it really slows down the process in the field. So those, these longer rolls by Tama and the uh, less um, wraps per bale um, really allow you to have uh, more efficiency in the field when baling. All right, so finished up inventory. Uh, at the different farm locations we have, we've got about 750 bales uh, at the home farm where Kendall lives. We've got about 200 bales uh, here at my parents' house, and a lot of them are still out in this alfalfa field. Uh, we got a small feedlot here, and then we're renting a third feedlot uh, just a couple of miles down the road. Uh, we got a couple hundred bales there as well. So overall, about 1,200 bales 
and we've got a few different uh, kinds of uh, hay in, in those bales, obviously. Um, but uh, now we know how much we have left to feed uh, before the next year, and uh, we can take that into account when we come up with our rations that we feed our cattle, the, the mixtures of feed, and we have a nutritionist that helps us, helps us with those. Hopefully you'll get to learn a little bit more about that in upcoming videos, uh, but hopefully you enjoyed this video about bale quality and bale storage and how important it is on our farm. Uh, as Kendall talked about earlier in the video, um, we store our bales outside primarily uh, just because it would it'd be kind of crazy to build bale storage uh, for 1,200 plus bales uh, here in Kansas. Uh, not too many people do that. Almost everybody stores them outside. Here's the neighbor's field across the road. So what we're doing is normal, um, but it's important to have a good quality net wrap to uh, protect the bales um, in the winter and throughout the year uh, facing all kinds of conditions. So we're thankful to Tama for uh, providing a really high quality net wrap that covers the edge and keeps the keeps the bales together and keeps the moisture running off. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video today. We'll see you guys next time.